Welcome back to another episode of Medical Playground. Today, I'm going to be turning a whole bottle of Everclear into diethyl ether. Now, this Everclear is 151 proof, meaning it contains 75.5% ethanol. That's more than enough to make an adequate amount of ether. Now, the reason why I want to make ether is because it is an excellent, low-boiling, aprotic solvent. It can dissolve a wide range of organic compounds. It can also be used to complex with hard Lewis acids because it is itself a hard Lewis base. So, let's begin. The only materials you need are Everclear, sulfuric acid, and anhydrous magnesium sulfate. The first thing we're going to do is pour out our Everclear into a boiling flask. We have to concentrate it to at least 90%. That way, ether synthesis will proceed more rapidly. Having all this excess water will impact the yield of our ether. Notice how refractive the Everclear is. That's the ethanol part in our solution. When concentrating our Everclear, it is important to distill under 90C to get the maximum amount of ethanol. Of course, some water will go over, but I like to think it acts as a buffer against sulfuric acid's oxidizing effects. Speaking of which, let's check the concentration of ethanol that's in our distillate. As you can see, 100 milliliters of our distillate weighs 81.34 grams. With a handy chart I found online, I determined the concentration was around 91%. This is an excellent concentration and far better than the 75% I started with. And I won't have to use as much sulfuric acid now either. However, if you're thinking of skipping this step, I wouldn't recommend it, and not just because you'll need a lot more sulfuric acid. In the distillation flask, you'll notice that the solution has become quite murky. This is because Everclear is not a pure mixture of ethanol and water, but a grain alcohol. As such, it contains a small amount of contaminants that become more apparent as they concentrate in solution. This is also why you probably shouldn't just mix Everclear with sulfuric acid and expect pure ether to come out of it. You might vaporize some of the contaminants which will muck up your ether. After boiling off everything under 80C, I collected a little under 550 milliliters of distillate. The density did not change, so the concentration still stands at 91% ethanol. I'm going to add 180 milliliters of this into my 1 liter boiling flask. Next, I'm going to add 150 milliliters of cold sulfuric acid. Having both of these solutions chilled beforehand will prevent overheating and boiling off the ether too early. During the distillation, you might notice I am not using a fractional column. Unlike my previous video, making diaspora ether, really popular, highly suggest you check it out by the way, ethanol and diethyl ether are both very volatile and will leave the solution together in similar amounts. After I separate my ether from the distillate, I am going to redistill to get more ether. Three hours later, the drip rate has slowed significantly. I pause the distillation and I am going to add another 180 milliliters of ethanol. It is important it be chilled prior to use or it will just evaporate in my face. And just like that, ether production is back at full speed. In another 3 hours, I'll add the last 180 milliliters. After distilling all the ether I can, I'm going to dry it. Then I'm going to give it a good swirl. And into the boiling flask it goes. This third distillation is the separation of ethanol from ether. I know pure ether is coming in because if I look at the thermometer, it shows it is boiling under 40 C. Ethanol boils around 80 C, so there is no chance any is coming over. After all the ether has boiled off, I am left with pure ethanol. I am going to add 50 milliliters of sulfuric acid to try to turn the rest into ether and separate again. In all, I got around 250 milliliters of ether. I'm going to dry it with more anhydrous magnesium sulfate. To check the purity, I'm going to weigh out 100 milliliters of my ether. According to literature, the density of diethyl ether is 0.713 grams per milliliter. Our 71.2 means we have made pure ether. And just like that, I have turned a whole bottle of Everclear into ether. I'm going to call this guy Ether Clear. 